Hello and welcome to this episode of January the 2nd. It is the first in the series of transmissible briefs. Today's topic is dedicated to St. Alar and Typhus. Now few people may know that January the 2nd is a day traditionally linked to gardening and to typhus. Why is this? What do the two have in common? For this we have to go back to the 8th century in the year 752. Allard of Corby was born. He was the son of Charles Martel, nephew of King Pepin and first cousin to Charlemagne or Charles the Great. At the age of 20 he became a monk at the monastery of Corby in France. His first job was as a gardener and he did his job humbly and full of devotion and it is said that his great virtues eventually helped him to become abbot of the monastery. And soon after he became counselor of Charles the Great. Eventually the king forced him to quit the monastery and to work for him as chief minister for his son Pepin. Allard retired to the abbey at Corby at 826 where he became ill on December the 23rd and he died on January the 2nd. Miracles were reported after his death and in the year 1026 Allard was canonized by Pope John the 19th and so became Saint Allard. It will not surprise you that he became patron saint of gardeners and in addition for some reason he also became the protector of sufferers of typhus. And for a long time the diagnosed typhus was used for all types of severe fevers. The Greek term typhus, smoke, mist or fog is what it means, was used by Hippocrates to define a confused state of intellect and in this sense it is aptly applied to typhus fever with its slow cerebration and drowsy stupor. Boisier de Sauvage first in the year 1760 called this fever typhus and the name was adopted by Cullen of Edinburgh nine years later. Before the time of the Sauvage typhus was known as pestilential fever or by some other name linked to the places where these epidemics of fever would erupt camp fever, prison fever, hospital typhus or ship fever. In the current modern vocabulary of medicine typhus refers to a group of diseases, infectious diseases that are caused by rickettsial organisms and that result in an acute febrile illness. Arthropod factors transmit the etiologic agent to humans and the main diseases of this group are louse-borne or epidemic typhus, also called typhus exantimaticus, the classic typhus fever, and this is caused by Rickettsia proazeci. And there is a special form known as Brill-Zinser disease. Then there is flea-borne typhus fever, also called murine typhus or shop typhus, and this is caused by Rickettsia typhi or Rickettsia felis, and transmitted by fleas. And then there is a mite-borne typhus fever, also called scrub typhus or tsutsugamushi disease, and this is called, caused by Orientia tsutsugamushi. So a lot has changed in our views on typhus and our knowledge about the disease, and this knowledge helps us to better prevent and control the transmission of these infectious diseases. And what has not changed is that still today we honor Saint Allard on January the 2nd as the patron saint of gardeners and the protector of typhus patients. If you want to read more, feel free to follow up on these references.